the uh, caster today, mostly because it's blooming cold down here this evening. It's pretty daggum loud though, so uh, I hope you can hear me talk over it. But that is a knife billet in there. You can't see it because it's about the same same freaking color as the heat, but I do also have the little paring knife piece in there. What's going to happen here with the knife billet is I'm going to cut off a piece for the boning knife, and then probably going to start shaping out the, the blade for the chef knife and the handle piece. Anyways, looks like we're going to have some fun tonight. Play-Doh, really, really, really stiff Play-Doh when it's that hot. <laughs> well, I think that that's going to do for the twisting. I'm going to hammer this booger right on out now. So, change it to a different venue and let you see that. here so it's all ground flat nice and well all the surface grinding's done all that that uh, twist has been ground out except where I chose to leave just a little bit of a, a toothy type of edge to it now what's gonna happen is we're gonna actually shape the blade out of this piece uh, integral handle um, all that jazz um, I, I don't know I'm, I'm torn on this one because it is a pairing knife of either making it so I can put a wooden scale pattern uh, a wooden scale handle on it or leaving the handle nice and, and uh, steel and thick. Um, personally, my personal preference, I like the steel handles. Um, they feel good in my hand, um, but I can also work with the wood. Um, and uh, the thing is, if I put the handle on, it'll hide all the patterning in the handle, which isn't a real big deal, um, because you'll have plenty in the blade. But it's just, I guess, a, a matter of preference here, and I'm not sure. I may play with it a little bit first. Heat, you can kind of see the patterning in the 
in there. That's pretty bad stuff right there, Bubby. Heat that bad boy back up right there on the tip. We're gonna work that down in there, belly it out just a touch, and then make sure she's good and straight. now that's just this thing scaling up you can kind of get a hint as to what it's going to look like
Third cycle. We're gonna let this one come up to heat and then cool down on its own slowly. Then we're gonna bring it back up to heat and quench it. All right, folks, we got it all buffed up and ready to ready to go into the edge. It's a little little unconventional for a paring knife, but uh, it is what it is. Here we go. So, in this nice little PVC thing, I've got some muriatic acid that I turned into ferric chloride. Um, and you can YouTube some videos on that if you need to know how, but uh, it seems to do the job pretty good. Um, and here we go. We're going to etch it and let it sit for a a little bit. The other one is in the etch tank. Um, probably ought to do a real quick checkup on it and make sure nothing funky's happening. Um, and nothing real funky's happening. Nothing unexpected. Um, so we're gonna maybe flip it around and get the, the blade up where this handle bit is. Because it seems like it might be etching a little better up top there. For whatever reason. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we'll flip this around and, and play tiddlywinks and have some fun with it and then put a final grind sharpen on it. Oh, so I wasn't real happy with how it etched down in the cold forge, so I brought some acid up, or made up some acid here in, in this little jar. You can kind of see it starting to take effect. It's significantly warmer here in the house, so it should etch a little faster. Cause it sat overnight down in the cold forge and uh it, it i came back and it was all blackened and i cleaned it up and you can see a little bit of where it etched up there on the handle just starting to pop out on me um but everywhere there's bubbles there you can kind of see the acid working a little bit you can see it right there in the the, the little finger crook and on the edges it's nice and party. Let's see if we can turn this around without flipping the, the knife about this side. You can kind of see a little bit of pattern there. But uh, we're going to call it good. I'm going to edit this into the video I've been working up. And uh, then I'll uh, include a finish shot on the, the next knife video we make. Because I got three of these things we're going to be doing up. Um, obviously keeping the acid warm helps quite a bit, um, <laughs> quite, quite a bit. Anyways, I don't think I'll be bringing it all the way up into the house, but we'll see. I might put it in the, the mud room, my acid tank, um, so that it stays warmer and do the, the etch there. Um, but yeah, we'll see how, how far mama lets me push her before she kicks my butt out. And thank you guys for sticking around to this final end.